He looked like a movie star. He had charisma. Women loved him. Men wanted to be like him. I'm not a political leader, but I can speak for those of my age. He would eventually have entered politics. In all likelihood, John Jr. would have defeated Hillary in the Democratic primary and would have become our senator. My father stood before you to accept the nomination for the presidency of the United States. The son of President John F. Kennedy was destined for success. He could have gone to Hollywood, he could have been an actor. I remember him saying to me one time, look, I'm a Kennedy, I'm a natural for politics. I'd like to find a way to accomplish something in the business realm, which is not necessarily my wheelhouse. John was an incredible risk taker. He wasn't going to be the spoiled son of a president. He was going to be a true man, and his mother wanted him to be that. JFK Jr. grew up in the spotlight, dated Hollywood celebrities, but followed his heart in marrying his soulmate and longtime girlfriend, Carolyn Bissett. This young son of a former president who was so handsome in his own right, and then he marries this, you know, beautiful blonde princess. I think everybody wanted the best for them. When they got married, we're the ultimate celebrity couple in America. They were it. Everybody fell behind them. The pressure that was placed on him to rise to the greatness of his father, his seeming dubiousness about whether that was really something he wanted to pursue. And I think he was on his way. I think he was maybe a little bit of a late bloomer, but he was definitely coming around. The hope, the promise, and the future of Camelot was suddenly cut short on a day when out of nowhere, America's son simply disappeared. 